everyone. Happy Financial Friday. This is Joshua Kraft, Jake with 369 Financial. And today we are going to talk about inflation. So inflation has to do with when your grandparents said that a loaf of bread only cost them 25 cents back in their day and a movie ticket was a nickel. Or even most recently, oh, why are you buying those new shoes that are $150? When I bought them, they were only $50 in my day. That's what inflation is. So inflation has to do with increasing in price. And one of the reasons that prices increase is because of an increase of the money supply. So if you've seen recently, America printed a bunch of money, which is going to cause us to have more inflation, which is going to make those loaves of bread and those sneakers go up in value. Now, where we are in the economy, things are a little bit scary right now. The election's coming up in less than a month. Um, the stock market's been volatile. So I have a little video here that I'm going to illustrate. What would $100,000 look like in about 20 years or so? And I'm going to run that for you right now. So here we go. All right. So as you can see, $100,000 would be worth less than $70,000 in a little over 20 years down the road. And that's what inflation is. So when you hold a lot of cash in the bank, the fear is that if you have that cash and it's not accruing any rate of return or any interest, inflation is going to decrease your purchasing power, meaning the amount of bread and sneakers you can purchase in 2020 is going to be less than the amount of bread and sneakers that you can purchase in 2040, 2050, 2060. And that's why it's super important to invest your money into appreciating assets such as the stock market, bonds, real estate over the course of time. Obviously, nothing is ever guaranteed, but I just wanted to just talk. I know a lot of people have a lot of money in the bank and they're not sure what they do with it. And I just wanted to go over on how inflation affects your money in the bank. So that's my Financial Friday tip of the day. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.